I don't think I could have picked a better day to do this. I'm sitting out what I believe is Alley Cat Vintage. Not only are all the antique malls on one street, but it's beautiful out. I'm so excited. I really, really like it here, especially after all those days of driving and traveling. It's just nice to unwind. And you guys see how I shop. I'm usually a speed demon driving like, I drive like a couple hundred miles a day usually. So this is a treat for me too. Well, I already picked up a pair of earrings in a case. I'd never seen them before and they were a little bit newer than I go for. And you know how I feel about earrings, but my gut was telling me to get them. And sure enough, there was a marking on the back. So I looked it up and they were lunch at the Ritz and they sell for about $130 average. There were some that had sold for up upwards of $200 and I paid $15 for the pair. That little beaded bag is very pretty. There's a lot of things in here I like. I also love the fake light brooch. Oh man, there's all kinds of stuff in here. This is neat. And it's been proven that even though this place has higher prices than I'm accustomed to, that you really never know what you're gonna find. This doll is kind of interesting. $20. Huh, Seraph doll, really interesting. Oh my gosh, you know I'm going straight for these bookends. How much are these? Oh no, the price is gone. Is it? Oh no, it's right here, <laughs> $20 set. Oh dang, it's so repaired. That's why I was about to scoop those up way too repaired for me to be in at $20, but they're fantastic. How fun is this room? I'm gonna go check up, check out upstairs. Man, I love the way the light comes in here. Oh wow, this place is huge. And I think there's another side to it too. Let's see here. Um. Dang, I think it's sold as a set. I just want the small mushroom one. Three piece set, $15. Oh, but the mushroom one has a chip, of course. Dang, this is kind of interesting. Thread-o-matic. Huh, interesting. I never seen that before and it's got the original box how much is this I'm really intrigued five dollars i think i'm gonna look that up surprisingly they don't sell for as much as i thought um at least i thought they would uh they look like they're in the eight to ten dollar range but they didn't have the box the box is neat statue 9.50 that's a good price too I need to take a better look in this booth, actually, because I'm starting to feel like I missed something. I really like this little nook in here. Hmm. That's not exactly what I thought it was. What's that? Oh, no, not what I thought it was either. It's a little dark back here. Oh my gosh. It's a little rock giraffe. Baby rock giraffe. <laughs> I love him. Is that really weird if I get that? How much is that? Eight dollars? Some of those vintage rock figurines, somebody was, I'm still kind of annoyed at the person who was like, rocks aren't vintage. <laughs> that was actually made in the early 70s, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm calling it vintage. Kind of want to finish up here before I decide if I want to get the uh, key for the rock draft. Eight dollars set of two but it's very repaired and broken, unfortunately. And then silhouette tiles, $5 for the set. What? That one's got like a little chip in the glass, but for $5, it's 
for the pair, I'm gonna take those. Now, I am gonna say anything I get today pretty much is gonna be listed when I get back to the hotel. Um, I am gonna throw it in that my pop-up whatnot sale that's happening in uh, Roswell. Look at that owl wall carving, that's neat. Um, just because of space and just everything, like I said, it's been kind of crazy. I think that's new, actually. I don't know why I'm looking at that. That's neat, too. That's a tent. Whoa, it's like 100 pounds. That's probably a sign that I should check it out. It's really interesting. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I need to just put it down, actually. I kind of like this yellow bangles up there. It looks like it's for the pair, and it's $8. I could keep one and sell one. Ooh. And people have been asking me for bangles. There's all kinds of interesting stuff in here. And the prices seem surprisingly reasonable. So I think I am going to get them to come up with some keys. What's going on here? So pretty. This is really, really cool. $35. Um... Dude, I've never seen something like this. Is it Goldcrest, Japan? Let's see. It looks like Goldcrest. I've never seen anything like this. I, th I think I'm going to do a little homework on this. Even at 35, I am tempted to pick that up. It's really really neat all right so you guys know how cheap i can be but this thing is in pristine condition i've been down on the ground googling and googling it's even got the corks in there although are these glued in there oh i think they're glued oh dang and two of them are glued i don't know <sighs> that changes things actually so they're not $10, they're $18, and I usually pass on these, but at $18, I am gonna grab them. Well, I ended up getting the little baby giraffe at eight. I got this sterling silver vintage snake ring at 12. Now I'm paying up for a little bit, but it is sterling and it is movable, so it can fit multiple people. So I felt like it was safe. Uh, I also found a pair of Bakelite salt and pepper shakers that I paid up a little bit for at 25, but they were just so cool I couldn't help it and then a little bisque chick family from Japan for nine dollars and fifty cents Which I feel like keeps my cost average fair. This is very cool. It's thirteen dollars and I've been going back and forth about it um, The handle isn't very functional though, and it's definitely new with this. I mean, it's just so neat This looks vintage, but this looks new. I'm kind of confused by it this place just keeps going and going and going <laughs> and still going. Every time I turn, there's a, another nook to investigate. Oh, that's a fabulous. I'm about to freak out at my camera. I don't know what is going on. This is very cool though. But it looks like looks like the label is reproduction almost. Looks not right. Those are repop, I'm pretty sure. Oh, what is this? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I don't know why my camera keeps turning off randomly. It's very obnoxious. Is this a little lamp? Oh no, it's like a warmer thingy. Hmm. What's back here? Christmas room. Hmm, looks mostly new a little vintage mixed in whoa that is so sweet i love that that celluloid frame ten dollars but even the image in this one is kind of spectacular it looks like it's probably all you know what? Since I only have to hold it until tomorrow, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on it. Just because, I mean, even the green, it kind of looks, so it does look like the image is vintage as well. That's pretty in there. I'm also noticing this little 
boy with the swan planter. It's kind of strange, but it's only $8. Is that a little crack? No, I'm not sure what's going on there. Hmm, I think we'll leave that though. I'm gonna take this though, this is neat. Now these bookend planters, I think they're just two planters. These are so freaking spectacular and it looks like $20 for the pair. Although I've bought the organ grinder motif before and it honestly didn't sell very well, which surprised me. Still, so, they're so neat. I would want to keep them together, I think, though. And look at this wall pocket. I already see it's got a little bit of damage on it. Oh, it's so neat, though. Oh my gosh. Dude, what? These are super rare. My last one of these sold for a hundred bucks, which I know is a lot, but I'm paying a lot for this and it's in pristine condition and squeaks. So, sold. This is an Etsy thing for sure. The fish. What? So, unfortunately at $45, I think it's just a little close, especially because they're, they're actually not pristine. It's almost pristine, but not quite. So I have to leave them. And the mushroom tin, $49. It's a whole set though. Crazy. Oh my gosh, and what is this freaking cute thing? Oh, it's the top. <laughs> I was like, why is it so heavy? That makes sense. And this little lamp, 18. What is this? It's really weird. It's probably new. It's still cool though. Maybe like a, what is that? Blue sky or whatever it is. And it really keeps going. <laughs> Button covers. I see something. The vintage Daisy Barrettes. Those do look vintage. I'm actually just gonna take off my entire shindig until I figure out what's going on because I'm gonna freak out if my camera stops in the middle of this one more time. Now, I'm looking at the little barrettes. Those do look like they have a little bit of age to them. They're $3 and some change each. I'm gonna grab them. Oh my gosh, look at this fabulous Anthony. What is it, Anthony Schultz? Oh my gosh, so cool. $14, that seems really cheap. Oh, whoa. Chalkware skunk. 15? Do I wanna ship this? I think I do for $15. Is that what that says? 1967. <sighs> okay, you got me. Now, I'm taking a break. This is so unlike me, but I kind of like it. And I'm going back in for more. So I've just been kind of going to town back here. This has definitely gotten out of hand. Um, this is very neat. It's $18 and 20% off. So it might not be the best deal, but I've never seen one like it. And at $15, I'm kind of curious about it. Oh my gosh, checkerboard flip. Look, look at how fun that is. I'm kind of wanting to pick it up. Like I said, I'm not supposed to be picking up a bunch of stuff because I'm supposed to be offloading stuff, but at least um, at least I have my whatnot sale tomorrow that I did. Thank goodness I did that. I'm nervous though that I bit off more than I could chew with how much stuff I've picked up. I've also picked up a bunch of stuff that I haven't even shown because I've just been here for hours, like literally hours. Oh my gosh, the bluebird and that frog. All right, I'm gonna put this dish back for the time being, because I see like 10 things in cases that I wanna get, and I don't wanna spend too, too much, because the whole thing is, this whole trip is honestly keep costing me much more than I anticipated. I knew that was gonna happen at least. Um, it's just the fact that I'm staying longer. I'm now like, paying rent in two different places as well as staying in a hotel overnight. 
So I did grab a bunch of stuff, but unfortunately the lock on this is broken, which is probably why all that stuff is still sitting there. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's at $13 though. I'm not sure. Oh, it is Mark Japan. So I did look it up and there's not even one that that that's uh that old and it sold for 23 and it's not even as great as this one so i'm gonna go ahead and pick that up and i'm also looking at this little italian box does that say six dollars i think it does sold and tracing my steps back to this booth where i left a few things um i saw this little cat and i was like hey that's german it's also four dollars so I'll take that too. Now, the last thing I wanna do before I leave is go through the magic slides. I normally don't pay much attention to these, but I noticed they had some really, really interesting ones that I hadn't seen before. I also picked out one for myself that was for an old movie theater. So I'm gonna go through these at five bucks a pop. So not only did they end up getting that case open for me and I grabbed that little bluebird at $10, the little miniature kitschy Arnard, I spent $330 in there, and I think it did really well. I'm starting to feel shopped out. I've, it's like one o'clock now, and I've been at it since nine, even though I haven't gone very far. I've been taking my time, which is something I normally don't do. But they were recommended two more places on the strip that I'm gonna go check out. <laughs> 